Hello, welcome back to Slice and Dice. This video not being invaded by the criminal Chris Griffin. No clue how he even got put on the screen. Uh, like, it really is a mystery to me. Because I did not click that shit. But there he is. Or there he isn't in this one. Yeah, <laughs> I, don't, I noticed it in the Wild Frost video at least. But I don't know how he got there. Uh, he's not even supposed to be on this scene. I think I put him on here when Cranberry and I did a tier list or something. Anyway. Uh, let's get to it. I'm gonna play Unfair today. I saw some people asking me to do more of the R mod mode, and I probably will, but I'm feeling like playing a little Unfair, if you don't mind. So, let's get to it. We're on a zero. Good day to try some new stuff, see what we can do. Uh, also, uh, real quick, I will say my cat is in here. Uh, he's sleeping, but if he wakes up, he's probably gonna come meow at me, and then I'm gonna let him go. As in fire him. He's not allowed in this company anymore. Let's get to it. Uh, we have Dabble, this is Fighter, Defender, Splint, Initiate, not a bad team. Uh, we can play, let's see, 11 points here. I think that, I think that Exposed Edges is pretty fine. Uh, we're going to play a combination of small ones. All most HP enemies start poisoned for two seems really good for five, because I can offset that with like Exposed Edges Arthritis, for example, which is definitely worth it. It's going to make a lot of the fights early on very easy. Uh, and then I just need to make 11 points. 2, 4, 6, 8. Uh, I'd have to play a 4. And I'm actually not opposed to playing Shield Response. I played it in un in hard and it wasn't so bad. So we could do 4. Uh, this is 8. This can be 11. And so uh, we're going to be definitely smothered a little bit here. But... The counterplay and the counterpoint here is that I'm getting this fumes, which should... Uh, the trouble with fumes is that it's not very good against the hand, and I think that he's scary always. And I wonder if it's even worth it to take this extra five points. I could take off... I could take off shield response, but it's actually not that bad. This, rightmost Caltrops, is a definitely not. Stony Grasp, uh, maybe Stony Grasp is better than Shield Response, actually. I'm willing to test that hypothesis. I really don't like Stony Grasp. Especially Stony Grasp. Well, Slippery Dice is that bad. Let's give it a shot. And we'll see how it feels. Is my audio up? Oh, it is. That'll be better. So we have, and to recap for you, we have top and bottom heroes times two to incoming damage if they haven't gained shields, add archer, minus two stored mana, uh, start petrified for one, minus two max HP for our tier threes, turn two enemies get plus one, and can't lock more than two dice at a time. Uh, so basically at the end of the run, we have a big threat on our top and bottom characters, otherwise pretty much all good. Oh, and initiate's nice here with gather. The big one is gonna be no locking dice. It's gonna be a bit of a pain. I'll hit done rolling on this. You basically just have to hit done rolling whenever you're bored. When, whenever your state is good like that. Hey, good enough. I can clean out all the seeds. It seems fine. That's going to be the general theory. And slippery dice, while annoying, isn't that bad. I just don't like it very much. It's not a very fun curse. But we're going to have a super smooth first few fights, I believe. Because whatever is dangerous is just going to die to poison. It's a shame this rat is here. I would not reroll Dabble. Soldier's fine. It's very good to get a yellow with a good shield here. Soldier might be the best possible guy. Because the shield assist from Soldier to cover people like Initiate is going to be very helpful. Can't play for Gather. Yeah, it's fine. Sorry, my mistake. It's fine. Oh, but I need to block for Dabble. Because if you don't block for Dabble there, she's taking double damage from everything, and it includes Thorn's damage. Important little note for ya. And whatever you want here. Like I said, the early game's gonna be pretty free. Look at the gather value. Bark skin? I think bark skin's okay, but you can't put it on the top or bottom character. Doll kinda sucks. I like Park Skin a little bit more. Because Soldier, I'm just going to assume, is not going to be the one who's sh needing shields. This Fumes has been a little worse than I expected for the start of the run. 
have to say. Uh, I thought it was going to be a little better. It has been not great. Do a bandage and a shield on Dabble. Let me just start picking enemies here. It's fine. It's just like all of these fights where there's a bunch of small 2 HP guys and then one 5 HP guy to soak the fumes. Not very good. I would say a little bit suboptimal. You could do either one there. But then like Alpha here is going to get slaughtered, I imagine. This is a no. Um, it's interesting. I don't hate Maiko here, and I'll tell you why. I think it's very nice to have the plus one when you're starting this fight, when you're starting this game with Soldier. Because he obviously can't do big burst damage, and Maiko can really help Soldier hit a four, which is good enough for me, basically. Not super, super important to hit fours, but it helps a little bit, right? I think that most of what's going to be trouble is things like ghosts. I also need to fix my brain because I've been locking things I should not. Yeah, I think my splint is not coming back from this one, unfortunately. That's on me. I shouldn't have locked like that. I don't really know what came over me. I've been locking soldiers too, and that's his worst side. Well, I guess actually his worst side's the petrified side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for the demonstration. It's easy to just click the lock there though and forget about this curse, right? That's how it feels. Oh, remedy's big. Silver Imp's also uh, interesting because the items will not replace the petrified because it's at the start of the fight they get petrified. I'm down to take Remedy, though. It's pretty good. Nice little get out of petrify free card. One character breaks out. Now, the big question that I have to face in this run is, would I want to play... Oh, look at that. You see, it happened. I'm glad it happened so that I can have some sort of mental justification. I don't lock this, too, and then he goes blank blank. It happens sometimes, and that's why I've been doing it. But it was hard to really process that was why. Because 2 damage is obviously better than blank blank here, and 3 damage doesn't matter. Uh, but it's weird because of slippery dice. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, would I play Shaman in this run is your question, and I think the answer is, I don't know, maybe. These turn 2s have been really dire. Skulk 2 has been putting me in scary positions. And I suppose you take the 1... Like, look at this spot I'm in. How terrible is this? I think Defender's a, a lost cause. I can maybe... I can't even save anyone. I can save Dabble, of course, but that's about it. I could do... Because oh, Bandage is two, I can't save anyone else. Yeah, okay. I don't have a whole lot of, like, gameplay here. I'm gonna head into the pseudo, but we're gonna really see some trouble because Maiko is worthless. I guess he can revive, but... Uh, I'm going to aim to kill the pseudo in case it high rolls me, because this Frail Edges is about to rip me apart. Yeah. Uh, two damage plus the Spore means I can kill the Slimer as well. Which is good enough. I hope. Eventually, Maiko is going to find that revive side. You know, he rolls it a lot when you don't need it, doesn't he? There it is. I don't need it here, I guess I'm probably fine, but... <laughs> yeah, you can, you can get up, it's okay. Alright, no big deal. Definitely not a good sign, though. I think Slippery Dice plus Petrify is a little bit much, uh, but more accurately, uh, that's not a revelation. I already had a feeling that was going to be the case. The revelation to have here is that Fumes is not very good. This has not been all that useful. Now, while I recognize and accept that Bard is very good on this curse, uh, because else is great uh, when you're playing the Petrify, I'm going to play Disciple because I think Disciple is also very good for this curse because you get Glow. And it only costs one mana, which Maiko should be able to make us. Someone will give me one mana. I'm just going to make a Dabble. 
Uh, would you ever lock this? What do you think? Two plus one plus two on the snake is a kill, and then I can glow. And I can save one? No, nah, probably not. I'll roll it. Okay, I'm basically the same position. I can overkill the blind, maybe? No. Uh, yeah. That's alright. Really good play. I really liked my fumes there. Did you see how good it was? I think maybe I'm just getting unlucky with the fight makeup. That's my... That's my cope. Maybe I'm just getting a little unlucky. The fights are looking a little bit odd, aren't they? I think you can go Spore first for the snake, yeah. Trowel M3? Yeah, I'm not gonna be picky. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay with that. Shit's been dire. I'll take Revive 3 on the left side. It's good to have so that I can potentially end up with Roulette. Because without some sort of side replacer, I think Roulette's kind of dire. It's late, by the way. Uh, good poison, good poison. Respect the hustle. Not actually. I don't respect the hustle. I'm very upset about the hustle. This golem is actually going to be a nightmare to kill off. Look at this dude. He's hitting a 10 on me. Hey, brother. Don't do that. It's like 6 block. I should have just hit lock there. Because now I put myself into this awkward spot. What is this? This is one mana? Yeah, I was really supposed to lock my lock my shit there. It's better to glow and then nobody has to die. It's hard to see though. I don't know. This Myco unit is not rolling me two or three mana very well. Is he? he sure isn't. I'm just gonna keep rolling. Okay. Whatever, man. He'll die eventually, I'm sure. But look at that archer. I'm just getting ripped apart. Look at Maiko. God, I hate him. Why'd I take this idiot? Ah, oh, two mana. Woo, yeah, two mana. He thinks that makes it better. Thankfully, I have glow. Like I was saying, it's just super good to have. The spell is crazy value. Spore did all right. Bell. Definitely the worst fight for us here. Although I think Slime Queen was also pretty bad. We wanted the three witches. But Bell is Bell. I will take a monk here, I believe. Being able to redirect off of these guys is fine. Can, no, you can't make him immune to shields. That's crazy. I just, I do need to try my best on keeping a shield on Dabble and Maiko for this fight. Great rolls, everyone. Very good stuff. The glow value here is pretty good. For one mana, I get to save, uh, what was it, 4 HP? That's pretty alright. I don't hate that. The Fnatic rolled very unfortunately, and everything looks bad. What the hell? This is crazy. Am I just dead? Uh, huh. Right. Well, I'm gonna reroll. That's pretty good. Let me hit done rolling. Okay, so Dabble's just killed. Unless I want to commit an extra, uh, extra move to her, which I don't think I do. Plus one. I'd have to put two. It's her or Monk, right? Can I save Disciple reasonably? I don't think so. It would be good to save Disciple. But I have Myko for the res, so that's fine. It's not like she has anything weird going on. He's on, he's taking seven, so he's dead next turn. So I may as well burst this imp. The fanatic dies, I'm gonna take two deaths. I will probably not lose this fight, 
Uh, unless I died of this archer, which would be really unfortunate. Oh, the edges don't follow. I actually thought the edges followed you. That's interesting. If you asked me, I would have said that the frail edges was going to move to soldier here. And I would have been very confident about that. Hey, a good fight for fumes. All right, we can stop complaining. Also, cracked plate here is very good because this just nullifies half the curse. Super down for that. Wow, are you for real? Is that real? That's crazy. That's unbelievable. I ain't never seen that before. Stunning. That's all I can call that one. Both militia targeted my character that had four shield on them from Cracked Plate. What a world. Get the hit done rolling here. Because two plus one kills this quartz. And then I recognize that I need to kill a grave and I will not do two plus one. I'll do like this. It doesn't matter much. This fight is a wrap. This one bones is not taking anyone with him. Presumably. A Spellblade Soldier is good. I have said that in the past. However, I think Dabbler is extremely strong for this run. Very, very good to have Dabbler to give us no X's. So that helps with the combating Petrify. <laughs> yeah. And it's, uh, it's okay, I would say. We hit done rolling. I haven't been doing this, and I need to start. Can remedy him? No, it's definitely... I Actually, you can do remedy into spore. I think this is viable, but... Did I miss my remedy? What's going on here? There you go. I swear that didn't look right, right? There you go. What happened? Did I, oh, you know what? I bet I accidentally hit glow. Because the remedy, when I press the key binding for it and then undo, it moves to a different key binding. That's probably what happened. That was not good. Cleanse. This is two damage. I don't think I want to lock two damage. That's not too bad. Uh, we can go two and two into the imp to save soldier. These positions have looked very bad, but so far nothing horrific. <laughs> I mean, the poison has done great work. Now watch me completely throw it away because it doesn't actually matter here. Oh, wait, maybe I don't get mana. I need shields more than anything else, though. Okay, I didn't get mana. A spore would also have worked nicely, but I guess... It's fine. Acceptable. These fights have been very close. But I think that's a good sign, because presumably this fumes is going to scale to be more powerful. If you show me... If I reroll this and it gives me Scrapper, I might win the game for it. Is anything particularly terrible? I'll hit it. Yeah, brutes, whatever. Probably a little bit worse. The horde looks good. What is sling? It's times two versus target with more HP than me. That's not that good. Horde to give me a single use five man is not terrible. The ghost takes the poison. Gross. Just take a little look. I can spore to kill the archer then. This position looks fine. You can ask yourself if you want to glow here. I think I don't. And you don't want a remedy for one shield either. Neither of those seem worthwhile. 
we get to effectively bypass the ghost. I think it's like this. You aim a spore at him. This position's fine. It's scary, but that's just this whole run. I'm surprised that I haven't gotten more screwed over by this petrify shit. It sure feels like it should be like this. Uh, but it's okay, like I've, I haven't been getting completely rolled by it. Not too bad. Prince or Surgeon? I don't think I want to play Prince here. It's just worth considering because I have so many X's, which is sometimes the problem. I think Sergeant is good, and I will play him. It's just a little bit of a shame, because I would have liked someone with a big cleanse, but whatever. Maybe I'll get a holy book or something. The goal here, of course, is to break both of these intangibles right away. Hmm... Okay, but the I'm locking this for two mana, which doesn't feel right to me. Because this is bad. Uh, I'm getting... I'm not getting a lot out of this. I think I'm good to roll. A little better. More than a little better, sorry. If you're just watching along at home, that was quite a bit better. Just checking if I can kill Baron here. I cannot. And this is fine. He's gonna make some ghosts ahead of the, the Skulk turn, which is scary. Three damage. I need to kill Baron. This is a lot of poison. Uh, that's all. I need to kill Baron. This is a lot of poison. I hate pressing this reroll, but I don't think you can lock this. It doesn't look good. Mm. This also doesn't look good. I have just enough to kill him. Gray, red, blue. So I should shield Monk with this. Wait, how did I miss it? What? Oh, this one puts you to one off? Oh, weird. And if you go Spore here, you don't get enough? That's crazy. Wow, how weird. Okay, well, if I shield Myko, I can save everyone but Dabbler here. I could also save Dabbler instead. I think it's a lot better to save Dabbler instead. Myko's a fucking rat. Uh, but I can't hit Operate. I guess I can with Dabbler. No, Dabbler doesn't have mana. Ah. Hmm. Interesting. So maybe I keep Myko alive and pray he hits me a revive? I can't believe that there's no way through this, by the way. Do you think maybe I should play... Let me have to analyze a few other ideas here real quick, because I could kill this ghost instead. Uh, I could also consider killing this ghost. Heavy hit there, kill. Could burst the bones? Nah. I lose Monk for that, and it's not really all that good. I think you kill this middle ghost. Baron dies over a few turns. And this position doesn't look so, so terrible. I can put Monk up some HP. I can cleanse. 
You cleanse Brute from this spot, and I get one mana back from the Baron. This position looks very bad. Don't get it twisted. But I think it's possible that I can win out. The triple poison roll on the Skulk turn was a little bit unlucky. That's what I would say. One mana gives me an operate. But I'm not locking this X on Surgeon. Surgeon's like VIP here. Okay, I should survive this position now. Just thinking about it. There's nothing even hitting Maiko. I can... I can take this off a of Surgeon. He's dying to the bones? No, I definitely want to press Operate this turn. It's very good to Operate here. It's like... Uh, I would say not just very good, it's like game winning to operate here. I think Spore in the Baron is going to make a lot of sense. Eh, maybe not. Because this one isn't all that good anyway. Operate picks up Dabbler. And then what, I just put two damage into the ghost, I guess? Hmm. I just don't really want to waste the mana, you know? Because I want to keep it in place to operate. That's all. But I'm not letting him make two bones here. So I guess I just do this, and then we end our turn and make sure I yeah something's wrong here yeah give it a sec give it a sec monk pulls off of surgeon surgeon heals brute operate picks up dabbler and then I end my turn monk dies Myko dies uh but I should be okay although if I put this guy down it's kind of... Oh, I can't even operate next turn. I should put this guy to two. That's more correct. It's still very hard. I think it's doable. Oh, you come back on Petrified. How about that? So we get to go... Oh, close. I think my brute dies. Because I can't spore here, unfortunately. And it's one of these two dies. I prefer Surgeon is the one that lives, though. Okay, I think I would be surprised to die from this spot. A very challenging Baron fight, but I think through no fault of my own. I don't think I particularly did anything wrong in that fight. Uh, I just got a little bit unlucky on that Skulk turn. Blindfold or place the five right sides with shield one repel. Hmm. I'm going to pick up this blindfold if you don't mind. I think that turning... Maybe now Maiko won't be such a piece of shit. We all know the answer to that thought. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't really want to put single use out in this position. Poison on the Cyclops. Let's see if we can escape the death spiral that I'm about to walk into. Because it definitely feels like I'm about to enter into a death spiral. And I really need to kill this Warchief. Okay. At least that. Uh, shield goes to Maiko and then I go first first. Okay. It's not so bad. I should repel shield on Maiko though, because I want to put that archer down to one. And 
and I'd rather save HP on one. I hate the all five characters petrified symbol here. It's very upsetting to me. I gotta tell you, it sure feels like I just do no damage with this team comp, doesn't it? I think it's Slippery Dice, honestly. It's really hard to roll for damage with Slippery Dice. And these Skulk turns have been unforgiving. Look at this position, man. I'm all down to 1 HP into this Cyclops. How do I survive this? How could you possibly get away with this? I, I obviously have to kill the Cyclops next turn, so I guess I just set him low. And we pray that this guy makes a wolf? Kill Cyclops and get that wolf out here? Yeah, okay, it's livable. I just have to kill this thing. Good three. I'm down for some healing, but I also really like to cleanse. Let me just press end, end here. Everything is strong about this. I get to break a Petrify, which is very good for Monk. But I think Brute should not be my target, because if it's a cleave attack here, I can self-shield out of it. Uh, I should probably go for a Surgeon and Myko, and then de decontaminate my Monk. A woo woo. Okay, yeah, see, cleave attack, and now Brute can fulfill the prophecy. Or I can just end here, because it's good to do this. This heavy attack is not good. I still here, but it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm not happy with it. Three damage is good, and I just, I, it's fine. Surgeon has nothing but healing. Let's try this one. Kill there. I can go... I, just, I don't want to kill this wolf, it doesn't matter. That's the issue. I need to stun this wolf. Oh, I can just... I can't kill it. I can stun it. A few ways I could go about stunning it, to be fair. Probably heal Brute, since he's the one that has the stun. And then the fucking battle to the death against Alpha. That doesn't feel right. Good job, Maiko. Derogatory. Man, my team sure does no damage, I say, after clicking Maiko, Dabble, or Brute. Where's all my damage, I say, as I just keep on barely surviving situations? It's real curious, isn't it? I'm gonna find the guy who did this shit. Should make sure I let Dabbler tank hits because the shield is good. I should never redirect off of Dabbler. Yeah, like there's just no reason for it. Dare I say, it looks survivable. And we're gonna get a new cool unit who's gonna shift the focus and the, we're just gonna landslide this run with this new unit right around the corner. Just you wait. They're gonna show me, uh... They're all, honestly, almost every unit that comes to my mind is kind of bad because of the top Petrify. Uh, you know what I want here? I want Stalwart. I want to be able to just pet to clear my Petrify. It's over. We lived. Barbarian's pretty good. Uh, Dabalist is 7 HP. That is offensive. That is extremely offensive. I'm gonna pick Barbarian. I have a damage problem. He's a damage man. I'll give him a trowel because it's kind of funny. I should actually give him the cracked plate, but I'm gonna keep it on Dabbler. Who knows? Maybe he lives to Petra, or maybe he lives to dig up the team with the M3 trowel. I think I overkill the bandit, and then we all marvel at the power of this pet, this poison curse, huh? Sorry, poison blessing. Uh, <laughs> that's a, a Freudian slip, maybe. 
I think it's not terrible to make this play and just kill one sneak. I think it's actually a little better because the bandits are poisons and I will be able to overkill any time. So I should just clear these snakes out. That's my hypothesis. <laughs> he still runs. Remedy the barb and we're out. Okay. Time, so this is replace the middle side with weakened serrated. A symbol barbarian, by the way. Just so you're clear. Uh, interesting stuff, though. I also have blindfold barbarian, but it's not as good. I actually, you know, simple, simple might have been. I, I jumped the gun. I forgot about blindfold. Blindfold barbarian was probably the play. Oh well, I'll have to deal. I'll just roll. Yeah, he's immune to damage now. I'm not done rolling. Immune to damage, quite good. I'd like to kill the chomp now. It's really, really annoying to fight chomp with frail edges, so I'm just going to kill him off. Yeah, it's the AoE turn. I need to kill this Anol. Sometimes he's gonna land horribly. I should play accordingly. A remedy's not bad, and then... I guess I don't have to kill the null. Did I? I did not burst. Uh, I think the position is correct. Yeah, you can pretend you're growing. I think it's right. I do not want to fuck around. Also, is Monk taking the full frail damage when he redirects off of these guys? I didn't consider that. I didn't think about how it would consider it. Let's take a look. There's no damage coming off of Mike. Go here. Never mind, there's nothing to look at. It just occurred to me that he might be taking, like, four when he pulls off of Myko. I don't know how it's calculating it. Didn't even cross my mind, to be honest. It's super hard to not pick Warlock here, but he's kind of ass with Petrify. I just have to... Uh, I just have to deal with it, basically. He's gonna take Thimble and then we're gonna blindfold Barb. I have to cleanse him. I have to, like, prioritize Remedy on this guy. See if I can cook up something good for Troll King here. I think we could probably come up with a few ideas on how to beat this guy. He's a tricky fella, but I think we could probably piece something together. Oh, or maybe not. This is two mana if I want it. Thinking about that. It's two mana. I need to remedy the Warlock, I think. Well, this changes things. So normal game plan, actually, yeah. So if you have trouble with Troll King, what I suggest you do is kill him. So I'll also emotion replay that for you just in case you're having trouble. So you see Troll King here, he's doing a lot of damage, he's doing a five damage cleave. The real big counterplay to this, if he's given you trouble, is to uh, click on his head. You see right here, uh, it's like, have you ever played first person shooters? If you, you bonus damage to the head. Strongly suggest you try that out for yourself. Good work from Warlock, but now I have to get past the slate. Thankfully, he did not AoE me here. Gotta give credit for that. Uh, the heal on Warlock is okay, but I want him to roll mana. Yeah, this hand looks very good. This hand, yeah. A little too much Wild Frost lately, maybe. Alright. Hopefully you guys can apply this Troll King knowledge to your own runs. It's a little bit of a tricky technique to learn, but if you kill him, he dies. Replace the bottom side with two damage Rampage Petrify? What the? Petrify! I think it's not very good because it's hard to actually get value out of Petrify. This team does not want these fights to go to a point where you're getting Petrify value, and Brimstone is really good for Barbarian. 
But that item is cool. Getting Petrify on enemies is fun. But having Barbarian have an extra, like his now his secondary side is 12 damage. Why do I call it his secondary side? His right side is 12 damage. Oh, here he comes. My cat has awakened. You might be able to hear him. I'm letting him out. One sec. All right, where was I? Ah, yes. Slice and dice. Uh, this hand is actually not too bad to hold, because I can kill zombie, kill wisp, potentially. It's a, not quite a discounted wisp kill. Could also kill fanatic here, which is probably better. I don't mind barbarian going a little low. Looks good to me. My takeaway, by the way, 100% my takeaway from this is that this fumes shit is not worth. I had a feeling it wasn't going to be all that good, uh, but for five points it didn't feel terrible. But it is just not worth the hassle. This is not worth the squeeze, if you will. I think we've stabilized around Barbarian and Warlock now, thankfully. But we had a real touch and go sequence. I would not want to get rid of Remedy here. Valkyrie normally would look very good here, but Petrify on this is bad. I think this is for sure an agent play. Nothing crazy for agent, but there's still time to see Eye of Horus. Worst case, she's, you know, an easy, easy going for damage. I guess you could put this on her too. Maybe the Inflict Pain gets to pop off. I actually think I would prefer to have the Trowel. It'll depend on who the final boss is. I feel like we're going to go long or not. I could make a case for keeping Dabbler there, though. It's not a terrible case. I hit done here. Okay, so he's taking four. Monk does not take the doubled up damage. So the reason that this is, by the way, so it's the question is, is redirect taking how much incoming damage or just how much damage, right? Because you're redirecting the targeting over to here. Warlock is taking two up to four. Now he's, now Monk is being targeted. Monk doesn't have the precaution to take. Uh, so Monk just takes the two. <laughs> is why it works like that. I will burst you a little bit better. The two skeletons spawning in is a shame, but we killed the demon right away, which is nice. I should have considered just killing that call. Times two versus targets with more HP than me. Oh. Uh, yeah, I suppose. May as well cleanse. Surgeon is pretty low on the cleanse tier list in this one, though. Do not really care that much about Surgeon having one more heal shield side. Chaos Wand is good. It may not look all that good, but it's good here. Uh, it goes well with quad use. If we connect that shit, it is big damage. It's a shame I can't get Horde on it, but that's okay. These trolls are about to decimate me if I'm not careful. I need to kill one of them quickly. Hey, monk, don't die. Interesting. Yeah, so first of all, if you don't know what this Chaos Bond does, by the way, I can read it to you. It basically has every keyword. It has single-use, cleave, engage, self-heal, weak, and vulnerable. So the part that matters here is cleave, weak, and vulnerable, engage. On turn one, this will do two weaken vulnerable to two targets like this which lets you just take these trolls out before they become a problem on the following turn it basically just adds another side to the setup that will eventually win me the game i'm what you're answering there because obviously i'm a long time hater of single side replacers as your tier 9 i've always talked about how much i don't like charged hammer this item though actually just shifts the power the fight in my favor very heavily what have I seen? I've seen Prince Valkyrie, Stoic, Poet. Uh, it's Stalwart Paladin, and I want to figure it out for myself. It's Stalwart Paladin, Keeper, our left. Yeah, Stalwart Paladin, Keeper, our left. Stalwart and Paladin are both pretty good. Poet is also okay, and if I'm having... But Paladin is fine. I think I'm going to pick Poet. Because I don't care too much about losing his two to all. 
And I'm happy to roll down for a little extra mana as well. Now into this boss, could also run it like this, yeah? It's not crazy. I want to have the revive available. And into dragon, I think having the inflict pain is good because sometimes it's 15 damage. Obviously, I don't know what I was talking about because of course dragon is going to do, I mean, you know what dragon's gonna do. This isn't a surprise. Hey, if I don't roll a shield here, I think I just die. That would be subpar. Hmm. Hmm. Quite. Uh, so I would recommend, if you're having trouble with playing Slice and Dice, not having this happen to you. That's my advice for you today. Oh, the bite. Hold on. Oh, look at this. I'm going to roll Poet for Revive, for sure. Yeah, definitely rolling for Revive. Okay, I mean, Barb did exactly what he was supposed to do here. I probably win from this spot. No Revive on the turn that I need it, but whatever. I just keep these two on life support. Eventually... What is that bottom side? Karma boost? Uh, okay. I can kill this archer. <laughs> it's a weird position. Uh, I suppose. Quad use wins. Yeah, I didn't expect to get quad use there. Hmm. If he hits me with a cleave, I might just die. I don't know. We'll see what happens. He bit me twice, which is good. The turn one poison to instant kill my warlock was unfortunate. And is this surviving? It is. So I should lock this. Maybe you roll me a revive, poet. Yeah, I mean, fuck you. I don't know what else to say to that. Just fuck you. If I lose to this archer, I'm going to be a little upset. Alright. That was a fun one. That was not a fun one. I apologize for lying to you moments ago. So, what do I take away from this? I think that this blessing is fucking terrible. What would I have off of this run instead of this blessing? I would probably take off... I would definitely take off Stony Grasp. Stony Grasp made this run a lot worse, so I'd probably take off Stony Grasp and minus two mana. Which is still going to be tough, because I think the problem of this run was Skulk plus Slippery Dice. Every time I've picked this, it's been really, really tough to play with. I think Heavy Dice is fine. I think Slippery Dice 2 is actually not worth the cost. So, uh, my takeaway is... First of all, I think Exposed Edge is pretty much fine. I think that Arthritis is a little annoying. I would prefer to not have to play this, but it's like, okay... Skulk is really tough. Every version of Skulk that I've played has felt very bad. Uh, Slippery Dice, tough. Stony Grasp, not very good. Add Archer was fine, and minus two max mana is whatever. You might play, like... You might take off max mana, add Archer, Slippery Dice instead, and then play through Stony Grasp. Stony Grasp, it was okay, right? But I think it's a little hero-dependent. I'm not sure. I'll think about it. Because, like, without... The, the fumes added five points, right? But I think this run had a few different things working against it. 3-2 and 4 and 1. Well, 3-2-4 is 9, right? So you would still need to take another 2. Oh, but I could just take, like, Arthritis and then no Skulk, no Slippery Dice. I think this is what was scary. Arthritis plus Skulk was kind of rough. 3-2... It's, it's whatever. I might actually play Shield Response, though, too, instead of that, because um, you can just defend through Shield Response. It's not terrible. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.